This year, the exception can be made. It can be online due to COVID-19. COVID but the hard copy has to be uploaded and relevant documents have to be uploaded on the leave board. Attendance. In order to be eligible for PU semester examination, the students have to fulfill 75% attendance condition under all circumstances. Internal assessment is based on attendance that is 75% minimum and the results of midterm tax conducted by the college. Timetable. The students can view or download the timetable for their classes from the college website using student login ID or the password. Student can also download sections, ID card, certificate, accept, TC and character certificate. Online classes. In view of prevailing COVID-19 situation, College will be conducting online classes for all streams as per the guidelines of Government of India and Chandigarh administration. To facilitate the smooth conduct of online teaching, the college has adopted G Suite facility of Google. Online classes will be conducted on the Google Classroom and Google Meet platforms. Mid semester test. The college conducts two mid-semester tests during the academic session and each student is required to compulsorily appear in both mid-semester tests. No student is allowed to take these examinations without a valid identity card. Absent is marked for the student who fails to appear in these exams. Whatever the reason of absence, it will be presumed that he or she has scored zero marks in that paper. Any student who fails to fulfill the eligibility criterion is required to reappear in the special test which is held in the month of November for the odd semester and April for the even semester. Semester exam eligibility. Punjab ministry will be holding in December 2020 and May 2021. Eligibility condition for appearing the university examination. Each student is required to fill up university examination form in September and January for semester examination, which will be sent only provisionally to Punjab University Chandigarh for the semester examination to be held in December 2020 and May 2021. The filling of the examination form is subject to the following conditions. The student has displayed good conduct during the course of his or her stay as a bona fide student of the college. The student has attended at least 75% of lectures delivered in E subject, both in theory as well as in practical classes. The lectures are counted from the first day of the session. The student has secured at least 25% marks in aggregate for all the subjects in each mid-semester test. Special test or discretionary test. A student who fails to obtain 25% marks in aggregate in mid-semester test for whatever reasons may be allowed to appear in special test at the discretion of the principal. He or she will have to pay the examination fee for the special test. Such students shall have to qualify the special test by securing at least 30% 30 30 marks in aggregate, failing which he, he or she will not be allowed to appear in the examination of the university. In case a student fails to fulfill, any of the above laid down conditions, the admission form submitted by him or her and sent provisionally may be withdrawn even one day before the university examination and he or she will not be eligible to appear in the university examination even as a private candidate. A student found guilty of using unfair means in an examination is fined according to the gravity of the offence 
and is also liable for detention and expulsion. It is automatically it automatic, automatically renders the student ineligible for the award of any prize, concession, scholarship, or stipend for a year. College code of conduct. The students of the college are required to observe the following code of conduct, both inside and outside the college. Maintain discipline and decorum. Ragging is strictly banned in the college, as well as in the hostels. A student found guilty of this crime may be punished heavily. It may lead to expulsion from the institution. Use of mobile phones in the classrooms and library is strictly prohibited. Sitting on the railings in the college campus is not allowed. Perfect silence should be maintained in the classroom, the library and the corridors of the college so that the environment in the college remains perfectly congenial and conducive to studies. Show proper respect to the teachers and carry out their instructions most faithfully. Students are expected to conduct themselves with dignity, modesty and simplicity. It's mandatory for all the students to carry their ID cards daily and produce it if any member of the staff or the official of the college demands it at any time. Identity card may be checked at the entry gate of the college and those without it will not be allowed to enter. Abide by all rules and regulations and instructions issued by the college from time to time. Inculcate high moral values of life such as truth, honesty and devotion to duty. Students must make best use of time and spend it on creative and constructive activities for their own betterment and that of the nation. Rather than wasting it away by hanging out casually in the college or indulging in futile exercises. Students should be punctual in attending their classes, functions and fulfilling the appointments and assignments. The following activities are strictly prohibited. Littering the campus, scribbling on the walls in the college property, making noise in the corridors, tampering with the vehicles of the staff members, smoking, drinking and playing cards. The college notice boards and college website should be read daily to keep abreast of the ongoing activities. Ignorance of the orders, notices, duly displayed on the notice board and the college web website shall not be accepted as an excuse for non-compliance. Students are advised not to bring heavy cash, jewelry or any other expensive items to the college and the college authorities will not be responsible for any loss. Students who violate the above code of conduct are liable to be penalized and taking heavy fine, withdrawal of concession, stipend, scholarship if any, and in extreme cases even expulsion from the college. I have given you at least a flavor of life at SC, a small sense of our ethos, our values, our aims, our objectives. Thank you. Thanks a lot.